trucks been around like an elk and hook or You know, they must have went in for something just totally new or something. One owner car guy, one owner car guy dot com. Battery guy just showed up. I'm getting batteries for that. Kid just bought it in uh, Oh god, he's up in Glendale or Burbank or somewhere. LA ish. I can hardly walk. My workout's been doing good. How's it going? I don't know, you're gonna have to look. It's weird. No. No. I need six of these. I need six of something really deep cycle or something. Hmm. So there's two here. And then. Get 12 volts? There what? Get 12 volts, right? Yes. Two there. And I then. Get to this side. You know, wait, what did you say it was? I could get the group 31. It's a group 31, is what it is? Yeah, the ones right. inside the same? Yeah. Is this the same? Because I got. These would be the same then? Hello? What is this kind of battery? It's a group 31. It's just there's a newer style now? Yeah. What's, yeah. what's different about them? Just the tips or what? No, they're about the same amperage and everything. So this is just really old? And it should work the same. It's the same volts yeah, yeah. or amps or whatever. Okay. So the guy needs six of these. Yeah, you, you don't got a phone number straight to so call you? I'm going to go look for some. Yeah. Give it to me your number. I'll go out to the warehouse. You got it. This is sealed batteries. You know what I could get you is uh How many you need? Six. Six. Dang, dang, cheap, dude. Oh, because they're expensive. Uh, I get some Optima. Yeah. Well, can you, that might, if I had a choice for the guy, okay, here's the deal. The kid's in Burbank. It's his first car. He's yeah. 15. Him and his dad are going to fix it up. Uh -huh. So they want to buy batteries. So I told them I'll get them batteries. If you can give me a price for that, the Optimus, that's probably like the yellow one you sold yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those will work, yeah. Yeah, I use that for my winch all the time. That would be nice if you can get them, and I'd like to get a price for just something regular too because i know them are expensive but i know for this and for driving it and using it and recharging on a current all the time yeah, yeah. that would be the way to go yeah, that'd be yeah. it'd be nice well, you got one, two, six, right? yeah that one. i gotta go tomorrow i know i i was gonna pick them up and i left them there because i didn't have a use for them hopefully that guy still got them there the and those those aren't taller and bigger and about the same. About the same? Got a lot of room. Yeah, there's an extra inch there at least, huh? Yeah. Uh, how many cores do you have? Five. So, which number do I call you at? Four zero six. Five four six. Eight seven four eight. You know no rush, right? I don't know. When you want him. He's probably gonna start bugging me to deliver the car towards this weekend or next weekend. So late this week, early next week. Saturday Friday. Well, that'd be fine. Or I and I might Is stretch it, it into next week. Um, well no, it's inside. Okay. I came out to deal with this guy. Okay. <laughs>
I leave if I don't leave it, then everybody will call me while I'm out here. Okay, let me uh. <clears throat> the laptop must be the best way. Can you believe this? That is actually legal. Um, get me, get me a price both ways. Let me know on the cheaper ones too, because I know they don't have a lot of money on it, and I know those are not going to be cheap. Okay. Okay, I'm always around, man. Have fun. You been busy? Yeah, I'm pretty busy right now. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I've got different customers that buy by the bunch now, so that's good. It's really good. Easier, right? Oh, yeah. You just drop them off. Man. So it's a late. I'll give you a call. I've you been... I've got the phone ready out here. Okay, I've been gone for about a month. Mm -hmm. So... My cars are leaving and I'll know what I need on batteries, so before you come, I'll let you know I might need two or three at the same time. Okay, alright. Okay, have fun, man. Yeah, he thought he had a sale right now, and that sucks. I didn't mean to hold him up, but I didn't know what I needed there, and he was stopping by when he was in the area to check it out, so that's what we're going to do. Get this done. Now, this is part of, to me, part of what I have to do for people like this. I mean, this kid is buying this thing and it's a cool little car. I get a deal on this kind of stuff. That's all there is to it. You know, I'm gonna give him my prices on it. I'm not looking to get rich on, oh God, I'll bet you I can get them Optimus for 75 bucks a piece. 75 times six, how much is that? 400 and mid 400s, that's not bad. I bet you couldn't get regular ones for that at Walmart hardly. Thanks for watching. I'll clip more in at some point. Well, one on a car guy. One on a car guy .com. I'm hoping this starts up. I got the charge on it last night. You know, this thing's gonna surprise a guy. More often than not. Okay, so she starts up. Wow. Clear my path. I'm going to be... I don't have a counterfeit detector pen. I'm going to take, wow, 17 grand. This is crazy. Okay, she rumbles. She starts. I'm gonna pull this out, which I had in here. Get my excursion moved. And I should be about ready for this dude. I forgot his name. Oh well. I'm sure we'll figure that part out. Transport pickup video, I guess. This guy has a one-day trip permit and the whole deal. I guess I'm gonna go talk to the Valero. Real quick, Let's see if I can borrow a counterfeit pen. It's 
not a cigarette shop ought to have one. Man, I'll tell you, taking $17,500, 17000 in cash can be scary now. Hey, do you have a, um, a tester one? Yeah. You don't have a tester pin no more? What do you guys do? What do you guys do? Just look at them? Oh. Oh, you've got one of them? Yeah, I got a guy bringing me 17 grand for a car in a minute. And I don't, I've lost mine. Can I come over? I'll come over and just like walk over here and just go. <laughs> look, okay, cool. Cool, man. Yeah, no, no. I, I was wondering how you tested it. It says light. No, I got, they, some people have the lights and stuff too, yeah. I thought maybe you guys had upgraded or something. That wouldn't be as neat to stick 170 of those into and check though. <laughs> of course, it might be more accurate, huh? <laughs> have fun. I'll see you in a while then, man. Awesome. Okay. We've got a... We've got a pin. <laughs> he gonna pay me in the Valero. That'll work. Whatever works, man. Some test is better than no test. Into payday. I guess so, huh? Robert Battery Guy. Should have batteries soon. He's gonna give me Optimus, maybe. Which would be nice. For the kid on his electric car. I'm just kind of talking about stuff you may not know about. I guess I missed a call. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, oh, I don't know if she got a hold of the Escalade guy. I had a guy interested in it. I guess I could clean up a little bit before this guy comes. Talk to you in a while. Okay, just getting some things cleaned up a bit much as I can in a few minutes I'll likely have here as a matter of fact the minute I turn this on I heard him I see him I seen what I thought was him well in fact there's what I think is him we'll see I don't know never met the gentleman I know this place is a bit of a mess Wow, I don't even know how that got in there. Seriously, it actually fell in there somehow. And I didn't even notice it. Point being, I needed to grab a container and some trash bags. You know, I certainly thought this gentleman would be here by now. I don't mind waiting for a buyer. Like I like, like I mind waiting for a transporter. The transporters piss me off. The buyer, it's kind of my job to be happy. Right? Now? He just pulled up behind your excursion. Oh. Okay, sounds good. And it, it means our duty is really nice now. Okay, I'll get my excursion out of the way and do it to it. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye. Howdy. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Just got off the phone with Samantha. You RJ? I'm RJ. Nice to meet Your you, name? Nathan. Rob, Rob Nathan, nice, nice to meet you. Me. Let me get this out of the way. It's back here. You can kind of follow this in if you want. I'll just sleep this out here. I'll walk in. No, I meant you. Yeah, whatever. Nice guy. He's had a few before, I guess. Now, I don't know. She's got it all set up for paperwork. This is not my usual process. You guys are from here in town? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I live here in Pallet. Maybe out of 100 cars a year, I'll sell none in town ever. It just never happens that way. Yeah, I had a blue one on 89. And I put that and a tarp over before I left, and I was getting this off just now. 
I took the tailgate apart. The safety switch is disconnected. So that part has been bypassed with a little clip. So I really don't think the motor is bad because it worked before. Well, and then when an I did it for the video. Is going to be an electrical connection? There's going to be an electrical connection? See, I started pulling the switch out and I didn't look at the relays. I didn't test the relays. I didn't know where they were. Or the fuses. I got a hundred stinking cars and I don't get a time to go through them enough. I took the, the thing off to, you know, see if I could get to it and everything. Right. No, there's no, there's no easily figuring it out like that. So it's probably a relay, like you said. And you've seen the video where I was talking about the right. seat over there and everything. If you like what he did, he can do the other one to match at a cheap price and all. just the uh, wiring because usually the motors I mean, you can get the motors refurbished so yeah all the mechanics here so this wiring is what is what triggers this motor there's the motor so it could be because there's a connecting point right here here's the safety switch and that went where? Right here. Okay. And it's just plugging it because that's all looped together. They've got a wire on it. Don't pull on that wire too hard. Because <laughs> it comes right out of there. You've had a few of these before or something? I had? had an 89. I had an 89. I love You know, the minute... My friend from high school called the minute this thing so I'll bet it was a half hour. I had a Facebook post or something. Nathan! Nathan, I'm coming over right now. I'm all man, it's sold. I sent him that one. I sold that one probably about an hour after this one just because this one was gone. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you, the old boy before me, I think he spent, I think he paid the big money and just bought them. I really do. They look new. Yeah, most of the stuff is just PLC. I did the set search on it. It's got no registered accidents or anything on it. Should it's been happen. mostly an East Coast car. And it's not rusty or anything. No, that's the most problem. Alright, the power seat still works. Everything pretty much worked on it. And the AC is not super cold at first, but once you're going, it gets pretty damn cold. I think it's fine. Um, I just never really drove it over 10 minutes. Right. Can so I now, take it for a spin? I could take you for a ride in it. I don't have the insurance on it or nothing. Okay. Yeah, I got a plate on it. Um, let me, oh, I already pulled mine in. Yeah, um, let me grab my I wallet. Pull mine out. Okay, I'll, I'll grab my wallet. I'm thinking my wallet is in my truck. We shall see. These are um, backwards for me every time on this side. I don't know why. What do you do? I've worked, I've been in the loan business for 29 years. What is it? Mortgage type stuff? Yeah. yeah. Back in, uh, back in 99, I, I bought an 89 Wagoneer. Spent 10 years with it. Bought it from the original owner. Oh, really? Yeah. They are. He had 55,000 miles on it in Carlsbad, California. You and can't. The, you can't drive anywhere without getting somebody talking to you about them. Even back then. Yeah. Everybody oh, loved the look of them. I it's think so they're cool. going to do nothing but go up with the new ones. I was a single parent, and. Um, 
I had a newborn, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. And uh, that car, I rode it till uh, 220,000 miles. And I had to sell it because I got remarried. And, um, you see so many out there now with like two, three hundred thousand miles. They seem to just keep going. People yeah, keep working on them. Yeah, you gotta take care of them. Yeah. There's a few things you gotta watch out for. I see one at the auction, and they gave. They were going through the list of everything they'd done to it. They had the original tranny hall, but they put a four-speed in it. No. Not cool. Not. Uh, Definitely not original. No, not original. I've seen some with. Uh, Updated Dodge turbo diesel engines. Oh, that's them. cool. That's cool. <laughs> the turbo diesel definitely gives it a whole different. It's really nice. Um, yeah, it was an auction thing, um, new car trade-in, I believe, which is most of what I get. Is I don't do the lease returns and stuff as much. But yeah, I noticed it was a lot of East Coast most of its life. What year? This is '87, right? Yeah. I'm not supposed to be asking you that. <laughs> yeah, '87. No, yeah, <clears throat> they all, man, every year, I've done so many of these now, and every year they, they look the same from 85, 6, the I guess, really. The 91s with the nameplates that actually say the last year. That's the, those are the collectors. They're the dollar ones, yeah. too, yeah. I mean, they sell them. There's a wagon master out in Dallas, Texas that custom. I've seen that. They do some big grand. money on them things. Yeah. They do a full car. Hey, it's a full, yeah, you drive in a new car. Really, when you think about it from that standpoint, you can hardly buy a pickup truck for 55 grand anymore. something. I see those wires coming out of your seatbelt. No idea where those go, where they're from. That is a good question. And I think I had this down the whole time. I'll bet you it's for some kind of, I'll bet you back in the day that was one of the first things to see if your seatbelt's connected or something. Oh, yeah. You leave your light on if it's not or something and it bug the old guy. See, it'll get colder than that. I don't know if it just needs a... I don't know if it's been converted. I haven't looked. It might still be old Freon. Well, since if this guy had it on the... On the uh, you, see, you got it on a, uh, an auction here on the West Coast. Yeah. L.A. Because the history on this car is it's from the East Coast, which I'm wondering out loud if he ever got it registered on the west coast to pass smog because that was one of the biggest problems of it. my 89 was um, the Cadillac converter to get smog pass. Maybe the cat or the car. The, I remember I've had one that I sold here and the, the carb was the big issue. We ended up just replacing the carb. Could be. Um, I don't know. I didn't look up that far. Um, honestly, never planned to sell it to anybody here. Um, I wonder if she's got... It was never registered here? According to the online? According to the car files. So your dad's the guy in Montana? Well, I'm usually in Montana. 
I don't understand the connection. You guys run your own one dealer, one car owner, or whatever, one of the many websites you guys run? Everything goes, I take stuff back to Montana. Okay. We don't have, they, they, they might have sold like two of these up there. That it's this whole life of selling cars up there. Um, so I take stuff back and I ship it out of state. Okay. Hey. There's no smog information in the auto check or anything that we have on this Jeep, is there? No, because it's a Maryland title. Okay. It's Maryland. So it's all Maryland. And it came through. Um, I'll look and see if I have the seller. Um, okay. No. Um, and that's in the paperwork. Okay, hang on once. I'll call you back. Yes, sir. Um, so you want to drive it a little bit farther? No, no, it's cool. Lift up the hoods. Uh, hoods. Oh, I've locked myself in. <laughs> I'm going to pull up just a tad here. It's even unlocked. now there's no new tag so I'm guessing it's still R12 yeah I'm gonna have to get a Cal registration and get a Cal like converter to get a Cal smell. they might not have one you're saying Really? You have to buy an aftermarket. It's got one on it, but it might be the wrong one. I'll bet you. You know, I ran into a thing where they want um, two ninety nine for one on an old Chevy, and in Arizona you can get them for eighty nine bucks. But it doesn't have a CA stamp, so they won't. <laughs> This is just bent, it usually hooks up to this hook. You know, this seat belt is kind of stuck in here. Hang on. That could be part of it. It's just slightly missing this side. Yeah, it's off on this side too. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, it's just not hooking around it. Well, it might not be on. We shall see. Hey, so do you know, is this factory in all of them? No, that's just another, it's an accessory part. That's aftermarket? Yeah. That's not factory. Not for 87. But if it had these, these are, or could be. The outside wind ones. Yeah, there's a wind one that goes like this all the way across. There's a metal plate. Yeah. My other one has all three on the back, so I was just wondering. Do you wondering. have this metal plate? No. Like no. Yeah. It's like a little fairing. That's why I wondered if they came with them all. No, that was just an add-on. And on these, my guy will do these for between um, 85 to 175. Headliner? No, yeah. And he's yeah, really he's good. good so when they first came out, this is a little storage compartment here. Yeah. So I had the very first, I had a original PS PlayStation oh, yeah. put on there and I had a, a TV screen drop on it. And that's when my kids were playing on the back seat. In the 90s? And you were the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Before Pimp My Ride. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's going to be electrical. It's going to be. I tried to tap into them like you would a side window and it wasn't happening. I, starting at that relay box, because I never tried it, 
and I didn't have an extra one or I just popped it in. You know, it's pretty cool looking on YouTube now. How old are you? I'm 52. I'm 41. See, we never had a chance to just look stuff up. You had to try and try and try. Now it's a little easier. See the little, uh, the little holders there? There's like a oh skirt. no, no, I have nothing else. No, I thought it might be one of these you meant, but no, I don't have the little yeah. like a draw it goes over the top. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Mm, that might be it too. Let me get this seat built out. Try something real quick here before. I might have bent this when I stinking opened it up wrong. Yeah, it's, off, it's off on this. It's one. on on this one. It just went on. Yeah, it's off on this one. The little tab for it's on that side. Yeah, it's it's lined up. I'm pretty sure they replaced the carpet. Yeah, pretty cheap too. I was looking at the carpet was an easy one. All right. That's a deal. Okay, I've got to take it, well, it or that, two blocks and go get the title. Okay. It's at my PO box. If you want to ride again, you can. You want no, to stay, you can. Here. Okay, I'll be right back then. Hello? What can I do for you? What car is it? Hang on a second here. Hang on a sec. One more time now. I'm sorry. One more time. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, well, like he said, it's a deal. Dear Lord, don't let me get smacked or hit on the way. Traffic time too. God, it's bad. Hello, do you know what you're calling about now? Okay, well, I can't, I can't, I don't, don't really know what to do for you then. What is it I can do for you? Okay, I can't help you. Sorry. Thanks for calling, though. Why can't you help me? I'm not interested. Thanks for calling. Have a great day. Interested in what? Aren't you selling the car? How do you treat your customers? No, I'm not interested. You don't, I don't have something you're calling about. I'm not looking to sell you a car. Have a great day. I'm not interested, man. Have a great day. No, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm trying to say goodbye and be friendly. I don't care. It doesn't matter. No, you're a cunt. Yeah, whatever. Calm yourself down, buddy. Cunt. Yeah, you sound like a inbred. 
Do whatever you want, man. I'm not interested in selling you a car. You don't even know what you're calling about. Yeah, whatever. Go fuck your mother. Well, I tried to get as much of that as I could. And then Popo came up. Jeez, people are so entitled. Okay. American flag. Post to office. Uh, I'm still amazed that in this day and age, they leave this place open 24 7. It's never closed. Kind of got a lot to do today. And this has totally killed any hope of a workout. Holy hell. What did I do? Wow. I'm not used to getting this much mail. Friends of the Sam Chief Library. Or neighbor. And that's gotta be my title. I think that's from Jacob Benick. Yeah. Subscriber I've known for quite a while. Okay, well, hopefully, this is all good. He can do this, and we don't have a smog issue. I don't want to have a smog issue, for sure. He's right. He seems to have the money to deal with it. It definitely is a cost, but you've got to consider that when you're buying a truck like this. And so I'm glad to see he's thinking about it. Subscriber mail video. I'm going to wait. I can't just do this in the middle of a vlog. I appreciate it too much and such. There's no way. Okay, we're back. I hate to have to have him wait, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. I actually pumped that thing out of gear. I hit it so hard. Whenever this dude's ready, it looks like he is now. Couldn't find my pen, man. Um, what do you got? And <laughs> I left it in the car here. Did she send you marshmallows, by the way? What's that? She send you marshmallows, by the way? She sent the marshmallows? They were marshmallows. They were like the Smarty candy. Oh, really? They were all crunched in the back. I'll grab you one. No, I sell, I sell by the pallet, the um, marshmallows that are in Lucky Charms. Oh, okay. But no cereal. No, they were all Just the marshmallow. They were all like hard as rock. Like Maybe that's what candy or something then. It was like candy, rock candy. No. It was a bag of them. I go, is there something in there? Crunchy marshmallows? They weren't soft marshmallows. No, they shouldn't be soft. They should be like Lucky Charms ones. No, they you could have dropped like this. Oh no, it wasn't that it was then. Like this. That's how hard. Maybe they're smarty. I'll have to ask her what the hell she's sending out. Yeah. Not my marshmallows. It don't sound like. Okay, here's the title. What did, you got the paperwork, right? Yes, sir. I'll sign. There's a Carfax, you don't need that. Does she give you this? Because I know we have one. Okay, man, I don't know on these, I never do. So I'm just going to... I'm not doing that one. 
because as far as I know, this is the right mileage. I mean, it looks like it on there and everything, so I'm going to do the first one because yeah. it's, it's okay. 131 something. And I believe it. I don't think there's yeah, any. The not Although the numbers on these always look screwy. They look old fashioned as can be. And then just give them a copy of that, right? Okay, and so then I've got them too. Then, general disclosure, all known conditions. Yes, um, that one. General disclosures, classic vehicle. Okay, so what is the transfer form here that you sent him? Well, I don't really know. Uh, yeah. You've already registered it? Just getting the phone. Okay, cool. We need your screwdriver, though. Okay, I'll, I'll grab. Is it a flathead? Yeah, I need a flathead. Okay, I'll grab it. Um, so you're saying I have one and he has one? So you added one on. So I can just do away with the one you sent him because the one you sent me will go with him and that will replace it, right? Okay, so now I'm down to bill, sale, and buyer's guide. Buyer's guide is that. Um, you need to start doing these things correctly to where they see the signature is actually on the back. Can I get you to sign one more? It's actually on the back on these. Okay, so that's them three. Then there's the actual purchase agreement. And he gave a deposit, so it's 17065. Got it. Okay. Um, attachment one. A copy of that. And then you have a copy of the title. Okay. Okay, so we have the first, and then we have the second. You have two transfer forms on here? No, they transferred to us, so okay. Huh? It's um, Rancho Chrysler Jeep Dodge. Is where it was from. Okay, and then I've got to fill out the back of that title, right? That's not in there. It's not. Not in there. If they do, you can send it. Okay. Bye. So you do I got to do something here, do yeah. Better. Yeah, so somebody ran for heat. This, this car's been around like an alcohol hooker. You know, they must have went in for something just totally new or something. And it's amazing how new car dealers don't want that kind of stuff on their lot anymore. It's just no way. Well, it's a whole different market. Okay, here, I'll get you a screwdriver. Let me get you to fill out the first one. Yeah. Two square and one round. This is going to need to get remade. Jeez. So I'll knock you off. I'll make it even on the money or whatever. <laughs> but I don't think I want to stick that in any Yeah. Holes. This is for actually the back and window. And I guarantee... No, it's for the side door too. Okay. Um, those two, I just this don't. This is all you have for this one? No, no, I have three keys for it. Squares? I have a square one, that one, and a gas key. Okay. That's the three keys. The other, they should be in the ignition. Um, Killing me, Smalls. Okay. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> I use that one. <laughs> and then I'll give you a receipt to you. And then you've got cash, she said? Yeah, I need two more keys. They should be in it. In the car? Yeah. In the ignition? Yeah. Mm. 
Now you're making me have to go. <laughs> making me have to go to the auction, man. That's ten. And there's a seven and sixty-five dollars. I'll give you the money, the sixty-five back. Oh man, good thing I didn't. Was that another set of keys? No, it's my. They gave me one at the post office, and I didn't even take the time to stop. Ten there. Ten there. I'm gonna have to have you run over to the Valero with me. I want to do the little. Zzz. I don't think you're a bad guy. I just want to. Would you believe the auctions now, Mannheim especially? If you pay in cash, um, fifty or hundred dollar fee on everything. And when you're paying, if you're buying a four hundred dollar car, it just totally tanks you on it. <laughs> You ever see cash in mortgage in houses? Do you? You see cash a bit still, huh? I've been doing it for 28 years. Still see mattress money all the time. That mildew smell. <laughs> Tell me about this one, this handle here, the low and high gear. Um, I probably am the wrong one yeah. to explain that, but I think it's like a um, a high and a low four by. I'm not exactly sure. Can you run over to Valero with me real quick? What do we need to do? I want to run the pin across oh, these. I don't. I don't have one anymore. And did I give you? I don't want to lock this in here before I. 